You know that you can use your phone to navigate or to see where the nearest gas station is. What you might not know is that your phone tracks your every movement. Every movement. Even when you're not using it for navigation. This is how those catch your cheating spouse types of applications work. And today I'm going to show you how you can get back control and stop your phone from tracking you. Okay, let's do this. Break it down now, phone, catch it. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. As Android users, we know that we rely on Google services. And part of those services is something called location-based services. What you might not know is that there are in fact three different types of location-based services. It's location accuracy, location history of your Google account, and location sharing. Each one of those has different implications when they're switched on or when they're switched off. So let me start by explaining what each one is, and then I'm going to show you how you can turn it on or off depending on your specific needs. So first up is location accuracy. When this is on, your phone gets the most accurate location as it uses GPS, Wi-Fi, cellular network, and various sensors. When it is off, it doesn't stop your phone from being tracked as it only disables the Wi-Fi cellular carrier and sensors, but the GPS still remains on. Now, it is worth mentioning that even though it uses your phone's GPS, it can be less accurate than when you have it switched on, hence the name, location accuracy. Next up is location history. Wherever you go with your phone, your location is saved and stored in your Google account. When this is on, you're able to see things like recommendation based on places that you visited, or help in finding your phone, or notification about traffic on your upcoming commute, and of course, more tailored ads. Everything is kept on a website with a nice map and a timeline where you can see every place you have been to down to the route that you drove or the route that you walked and even it shows you any pictures that you might have snapped that day. Now before you panic, this is not a Google conspiracy to track you but a service that you actually chose to switch on. Now whilst this is turned off by default, at a certain point, you probably signed up for this, you switched it on, usually during the setup process or when you used an app for the first time. But a lot of us tend to forget that. But hang on, I'm gonna show you how you can check your status and even switch it off if you want to. And finally, there's location sharing. This is where you let somebody else track your location in real time. You can use this from various apps like Google Maps, where you can share your journey with someone so they can keep an eye on you. When you share your location, they can see your name, photo, real-time location, as well as status, like are you driving or are you walking, and even what is the battery status on your phone. So now we know what Google location services are, well, here is how you can switch them on and off, and here is what it actually means. So let's start with the most obvious, and that's turning off your phone's location. To do that, simply swipe down from the top of the screen, you will see the location icon, simply tap on it and to switch it off. When this is off, it means that your phone's location isn't shared with apps, so anything that relies on location, well, obviously is not going to work. It also means that if you lose your phone, you can't track it with something like Find My Device. Your location will also not be uploaded to your location history. Now, it's also important to remember that if you happen to click on any website link even whilst your location is off, you can kind of be semi-accurately tracked because of the way the IP addresses work. I've made an entire video about this. I will link that in the description. You can check that one out. Now, instead of turning the entire location off, you can just disable location accuracy. You do that by long pressing on the location icon and then tapping on advanced. You will then see Google location accuracy, which is set to on. Simply tap on that and simply set that to off. Now, you will also notice on that previous screen the emergency location service, and that is set to on if it's supported in your region. What this means is that when you call the emergency services, your location will automatically will be shared with them. I obviously suggest leaving this on for, well, obvious reasons. 
Right, now with the biggie, the location history. If you want to turn off your location history, you can do that from the phone or from your desktop. On the phone, long hold on location, select advanced, select location history, and then your Gmail account. If you want to do it on a desktop, well, I've got a link in the description. You can check that out and do it from there. Now, once you enter that screen, there's an option to simply turn off location history. But remember when you do that, that new locations won't be saved, but your previous locations will not be deleted. You can manually delete those if you wish. You can also choose to automatically have your location deleted after a set period of time. The one that scares most people is the map timeline. So let's check that out next. Click the link in the description and you will see every single place you've ever been to. You can click on specific days where you will see the exact routes that you traveled that day and you can even delete that information. Now, if you want to delete absolutely everything, well, simply hit this trash icon and everything will be gone. And finally, location sharing. Well, there really is nothing to switch off here. If you don't want someone tracking your move, well, just don't share your location with them. It is something you actively need to do and not something that somebody else can initiate. If you want to share your location, then open up your Google Maps, tap on your profile pic and select location sharing. Now, since we're on the screen, well, it's an option called turn on incognito mode. When this is on, wherever you travel to, whatever address you type into your Google Maps, well, that's not going to get stored. Remember, do not install any apps that are not from the official Play Store. That is how those spy apps are actually put onto your phone. Also, check out the video about signs to look out for if your phone has been hacked and somebody is tracking you. Link to that, of course, is in the description. Lots of weirdos out there, so hopefully this helps you stay safer. Speaking of protection online, would it be useful to you to get a video about VPN? Let me know in the comments. But in the meantime, check out more phone tips and tricks down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in those videos. And stay safe.